Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm the Riviera Fish, and right now we'll be looking at the final of the Federation Cup, who, who it is uh, Boson Old Boys against Bridgeford United. Uh, let's put on someone that we can absolutely crush, <laughs> and hopefully get some cards out of it, but right now, uh, team's decent at best in my opinion. I think I might get rid of Janssen's, his uh, stat increase weren't as amazing and compared to Milan. Milan's 1,000 cost 100 more, but he has a better potential bar and he's on the up and up compared to Janssen's who really has not made that much progress. Irvine I might keep because for his stats and he costs 950 is absolutely insane. I, unless his potential bar go, runs out in the middle of the next season, that uh, that's when I get rid of him. But well, he's not leaving right now. Um, let's put on Gordon there and Kern there. I'll double check the fatigue. It's okay. Trump and Ramsey are really just hanging on the knife's edge right now <laughs> with the potential bars. And let's put on Lorenz instead of Mora. And let's get into the game. Okay. As mentioned last episode, be sure to put down your predictions for a person old boys against Bridgeford United in the final of the Federation Cup. Do, re do, do remember though that they don't have their strike, their main striker. Bridgeford United do not have their main striker on board. But whether or not that actually heavily affects the game, I have no idea. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and let's get started with the coin toss, which we have just won. Let's have a look at how Burst and Old Boys do against Bridgeford. Okay, Tesla with a nice pass there. Iser. Turn, already first goal. Okay, Burst and Old Boys, Bridgeford have just started. Zero minutes on the board right now. So it looks like we're two minutes ahead of them. Go Donov going for a nice pat oh, terrible dribble, never mind. Grimaldi. Going for the cross. Oh, already a goal by Burst and Old Boys by Prince. 1 0 already. Five minutes. Trump could go for a cross here. Yep, goes for the shot, I think that was. Maybe. I mean the fact that we got the shooting card after he shoots and misses entirely. It's perfect. Kern. Finding Tester going for the cross there. Get to it. Marino. Over to Raujo. Reed. Tester. Grimaldi. Oh. Could have found a good pass there. However, the teammate did not catch it properly. DeVoe. Finding Konings. I wonder how many people actually predicted um, first goal to burst an odd boys. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to be uber detailed, you could have checked all of their stats and tried to guess who would take the shot. Sadly, it doesn't tell us who assisted, I don't think. No, it doesn't, know. Isa, losing the ball, come with a shot, Legrand is able to catch it. And currently, it's still 1-0 over to Boson Old Boys. Bridgeford, I'm not sure what's happening. I wish we could spectate, that'd be pretty cool. But, oh well, Tester. Come for the pass there. Finding Isa, going for a shot, and it's going wide. Okay, it's going over to Konovalov. Trump stealing it, off the long ball. Isa, oh, that's a really nice pass, Godunov. Scoring the machine, Godunov gets a goal. Absolutely amazing. Without a doubt, he's going to be our attacking midfielder. Or if it really gets to that point, I might change him to a striker. And then buy a, a midfielder who has a hefty amount of stats. Koenigs with a shot. Oh, it's going over. Can't do anything about that. But the sad thing is... Oh, Bridgeford have equalised with their secondary striker. The one that's usually on the bench, Saar. Okay, 1-1 now. 
but we were sadly wrong about the um what's it called the the fundings for how long you stay in the season apparently you don't get another boost and i think you get another boost once you hit um top four maybe or top two i'm not entirely sure trump and in kern or it could be another two seasons i'm not entirely sure but whatever it is we do not have a funding boost instead we got a big boost from the uh federation cup standings which is going to be a bit harder now because the reason why we had easy opponents for the first three rounds was because we were in the top six everyone else gets an okay opponent for the first one and then a very tough opponent if i remember correctly grimaldi going for the cross there Lorenz kicking it over to Isa. Isa over to Correa. Never mind. Puente is able to reach it. Vasquez over to Testa. Never mind. That's the end of the first half. And we can't see how the first half ends for both and Old Boys and Bridgeford. So if you did predict it, you can edit it. You can edit it to say whether you predicted it correctly or not. Doesn't matter. If you did the score prediction, then we can see whether it's right or not. After this, but again, still one-one for the their game. Oh, it's a terrible loss there. Oh, Kern goes for the pass instead though to test it, and it's a goal. It snuck into the very corner there. I'm skipping our goals because it, it because it, it doesn't affect our timing, it also doesn't affect their timing. So it's really pointless to look at the goals right now. Trump, oh it's a nice pass. Kern to go enough and it's another goal. Simple as that. Vasquez picking up over to Kern now. Never mind, Tester is able to get to it. Marino. Vasquez steals it. Tester. Oh, never mind. Inacio. Trying to find a long ball. Vasquez is able to break it apart. Grimaldi going for a pass to Araujo. Vasquez trying to clear it away. Second time lucky. Yes, it is. Godinov trying to go for a long ball himself. Finds Isa. Good go for cross here. He does go for cross. Kern overhead kick and it's in. I don't put it there. Um, I'm probably not going to use Jansen's. I don't know why I put him on, to be honest, but this could be his last chance to prove why he should be in the team, which I highly doubt is going to happen. So the toughest part about this game as well, like, in order to get your teammates to, to play around each other better, you have, they have to play more games. But when you introduce new players to, new players to the team, especially when they low stats, you're essentially asking for a loss. It's kind of really hard for the first few seasons of Pro League 1. But hopefully we can get over the hump with the next transfer window. I'm debating whether I get rid of Stein. Mainly because his stats haven't been extraordinary after a couple of cards. And I have experienced a couple of players who do have explosive um, growth in their stats. Despite the fact they have a quite low, um, what's it called, potential bar. Elliot's being one of them, but I'm not sure how much it costs. Uh, Sacco is another good one. I mean, he's quite cheap as well. He's like 3000 something, I think. So if Sacco appears, I'm definitely going to buy him. The problem is, though, he is normally my attacking midfielder whenever I buy him. That is a crossbar. My goodness, I was close. Okay. And then there's the other problem of having a goalkeeper. I know there's a few goalkeepers that I've used before, which are very good. Some of them absolutely terrible, so I'm going to skip out on them. The one that's terrible, I think I had was Van Kampen. Even though, even though he got our first goal, um, he was the first goalkeeper on our team to actually receive the All Star call up. He conceded so many terrible goals. 
Oh, it, 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 it was as if we had Giordano in goal, but we had an absolutely class uh, defence. And because of that, he, he got the uh, All-Star Award because of that. Speaking of which, I think I had Roy on defence then, which is why we had we were doing so well. Fair enough going for a cross. Bridgeford scored a goal. I missed it. I didn't even see who scored. Just chatting away, but two minutes left to go until they have additional time. Bridgeford are currently winning 2-1. We can't see the end of it because our game has ended. They score a last-minute goal. Okay, let's go through. Actually, no, yeah, let's go through our goals just before we end it. Simple slide by Kern. Godunov scoring us again in another game. Of course, what a surprise. It is Godunov. Oh, this was a delicious goal, though. Did he even hit the post? It was that clean. Eight cards from that as well. Pretty good. Oh, and an overhead kick to end it. Okay, drum roll that they're ready. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, Stein, whatever. It is Bridgeford. I think the goals are actually shown in the thingy here. Never mind, I missed it. <laughs> I didn't see the goal, but I'm assuming it was a 2 1 win. If not, it would have been at least a 3 1 win. Well, at most, a 3 1 win. Oh, well, with that, I shall see you next season with hopefully a very much revamped team. I'll double check who we have right now. Remember, these are recorded in advance. So I have read the comments on who to, um, what's it called, transfer in from previous episodes. So leaving comments now would be kind of pointless unless. I can do them in the next season and I find one of the players useless. I might get rid of Janssen's. Um, Correa I might get rid of. Both Correa and Stein actually, they give us a hefty amount. They give, Both of them together give us around about 7,000. If I put in Janssen's, that's about 9,000. I think Saka costs around about 3,000. So with that, that's around about 6,000, 9,000. Don't, 6,000, 7,000 around about um, of funding then. Right, hang on. Yeah, actually, yeah. I've got about 6,000 left or 7,000 left. Anyway, I'll see you there then.